How you guys doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live. So I wanted to go over the Afria Inc. report. Afria Inc. announces net cannabis revenue increases 65% from prior, prior quarter and fourth consecutive quarter of positive adjusted EBITDA. Sounds pretty good to me. Reports operating income of $8.7 million, adjusted EBITDA from cannabis operations of $6 million, increased 78% from prior quarter. Cash cost per gram decreased to below $1. Great. Updates on COVID-19 impact and fiscal year 2020 guidance. APHA on the Toronto Stock Exchange, APHA on the New York Stock Exchange. A leading global cannabis company, Afria, today reported its financial results for the third quarter ended February 29, 2020. All amounts are expressed in Canadian dollars unless otherwise noted and except for per gram, kilogram, kilogram equivalents and per share amounts. We are proud to sustain growth in Canada and continue expansion of our international capabilities, stated Erwin D. Simon, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. During this unprecedented time, the well-being of our employees, patients, consumers, partners, and the communities we operate is our primary focus. Our facilities, offices, and patient care teams remain open and operational to continue to provide our patients and consumers with what we believe is best-in-class care and service with appropriate measures in place to protect the health and safety of employees. As we face uncertain times, I am proud of how the team in Afria has come together to navigate these uncharted waters. Going forward, we believe Afria continues to be differentiated in the cannabis industry through our brands, cultivation expertise, high quality standards, cash position, and balance sheet. We continue to focus on the highest return opportunities to growth and op long-term value creation. Key operating highlights, gross revenue for adult use cannabis of 44.7 million in the third quarter, an increase of 54% from the prior quarter, and the fifth consecutive quarter of growth. Seems pretty exciting to me. And to be a $5 stock, where are they at? Five bucks? Five bucks, eh? I'm going to read all these numbers over to you guys. $5.33 was up 4.72%. It was as high as $6.00. Was as low as 513, traded 10 million shares at five bucks. How the mighty have fallen, eh? Now, let me remind you guys that the all time high for Afria is $24. They're reporting record revenue, guys. Record revenue, record growth, despite the fact that the stock is the lowest it's been in years. In years. Net cannabis revenue of $55.6 million in the third quarter, an increase of 65% from prior quarter. Net revenue of $144.4 million in the third quarter, an increase of 96% from the prior year quarter, an increase of 20% from the prior quarter. All of these numbers are growing. I'm really thinking about buying at least 1,000 shares of Afria, guys. I wanted to see how they would do today. I fully expect them to go higher tomorrow, but we're very in very unprecedented times in the stock market. And I just believe that a lot of people are just pulling their money out of the market, trying to get in cash. So when they see there's a little news and they get a chance to get some cash, they're just taking out cash. People are staying in a cash position and you're just not seeing the moves in the market to strong growth because these are strong earnings. Operating income of $8.7 million in the third quarter compared to a loss of $9.6 million in the prior quarter. That is huge. That's like a $17 million difference. Net income of $8.7 million or 0 0.02 cents per share and adjusted EBITDA of $5.7 million in the third quarter. Adjusted EBITDA from cannabis operations of $6 million in the third quarter, an increase of 78% from the prior quarter. These numbers are good, guys. End of third quarter with a strong balance sheet and liquidity, including, <clears throat> ready for this, $515.1 million of cash and cash equivalents to fund planned Canadian and international growth. 
received its European Union Good Manufacturing Practices EU GMP certification from the Malta Medicines Authority MMA and the company's subsidiary ARA. Equity raise of a hundred million, further strengthening the balance sheet. Avanti RX Analytics, as well as the GMP NX at the company's Afria One facility, allowing the company to begin to supply medical cannabis across the European Union and bolstering the company's international export capabilities. Subsequent event recognized for executive gender diversity by the Globe and Mail's inaugural report on business women, lead here list, an annual benchmark of executive gender diversity in corporate Canada. These numbers look strong. Third quarter fiscal 2020 net revenues were 20% higher when compared to the prior quarter net revenues of 120.6 million. Great growth, largely due to an increase in net cannabis revenue from sales to provincial control boards, which will continue to grow. Net revenue included 8,171 kilogram equivalents sold for the adult use market, 1,352 kilogram equivalents for the medical cannabis sales and 4,491 kilograms equivalent sold in the wholesale market. The average retail selling price of medical cannabis, exclusive of wholesale before excise tax, decreased to 6.41 per gram in the quarter compared to 8.16 in the prior quarter. Wow, that's a big drop. primarily rated, related to the implementation of compassionate pricing policy in the quarter. So they've got lower priced product. The average selling price of adult use cannabis before excise tax increased to $5.47 per gram in the quarter compared to $5.22 per gram in the prior quarter, primary as a result of a change in sales mix. To be quite honest with you, I think these numbers are strong, and I think this stock should be going higher. But the cannabis sector is really, really beat up, so it could go lower, but I do believe that the upside is tremendous for Afria. Sharky Tor, what's up, Sharky? Uh, hey, guys, when you enter in the room, you got to smash. We're live. We're interactive. This is Rich TV Live, okay? And... Uh, there's no need to panic. We're here. Never fear. Your boy Rich is here. And when you get here, you must smash. You just must smash. There's just something you got to do. You got to smash it. You got to crash it. You got to flick it, touch it, whatever you want to do. Hover over it and smash. Just smash it. And it lets people know that we are live, we are interactive, and we are serious about our success. Now, the question is, is Afria a buy? I want to know what you guys think. Is Afria a buy? AJ, what's up, man? Bill says, liked. Remy Red says, what's up, Rich Dollars? Man, the markets were red today. I've been telling you guys to get in cash. Cash is king. I'm telling the world. You don't got to listen, but I'm telling you, cash is king. Mike says, hey, but why is Valens down? I don't get it. Valens is a great company <clears throat> that nobody knows about yet. This is just a buying opportunity for a lot of these companies like Valens and Afria, two of the best cannabis companies right now in the world. I think that both of them will continue to grow. Both of them will continue to, to do well. And we will see both of them trade way higher. I think short term, we could see them trade lower. We're in the middle of a coronavirus crisis that is affecting everything. People are pulling their money out of the markets. 
I think that's why you're going to see the markets are not going to be trading based on real fundamentals right now. There's going to be a lot of hype in the markets. There's going to be a lot of panic in the markets. So don't look at the markets and think that anything really makes any sense because it doesn't. What you have to do is you have to look for companies you really like and try to identify the bottom and buy them as low as possible. Be a ninja and be a sniper in times like this. Stay in cash as much as possible. Cash is king. What's up, Q Cushion Trader? How you doing, brother? Jose says, hi there, Rich. What's the ticker for that stock? Which stock? Afria, A-P-H-A. Raid Hyatt says, it's at 372 right now. Yes, in America. I was talking about the Canadian one. Kyo Christian Trader says, Afria pre-market down 1.33%. Think it will go down again. Good opportunity to buy. These markets are very difficult to read. These are unprecedented times. Everyone keeps saying to me, Rich, give us a pick, Rich. I'm like, guys, these markets are really hard to read. You know, we're going up, we're going down, we're going down, we're going up, we're breaking all time highs, you know, two months ago, then a month later, we have a massive crash, lowest in years. Now we go back up again. Last week we had the biggest week in 45 years. Now this week we started up and now we're, we're down today. I mean, the markets are everywhere, guys. They're all over the place. These are really difficult times to trade. Really, really difficult times to trade. So try to find companies with money in the bank. Try to find companies that are growing. Try to find companies in hot sectors. Try to find companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and try to stay in cash. And really right now, just day trade. Just go in and out. It's really the best way to do it because holding anything right now is risky because we're in a market where people are pulling money out. People are pulling money out. People are panicking. And people right now are not working, so they're going to pull money out. Just the way it goes. So, yeah, the Fed is going to pump the markets up. They're going to be providing a cushion in the markets. But at some point in time, that's going to event eventually create downward pressure in the market. Hedge funds are going to short. The whales are going to short. People are going to be selling. People are going to get very bearish and the market will go down and that's going to create a buying opportunity. Uh, Raid says, you making me want to buy 1K, sh 1K shares, bro, right? I can still buy. Uh, I would wait, you know, like I'm not trying to tell you guys to buy, right? I haven't bought it. I'm in no rush. I want it, but maybe I can get it cheaper. Who knows, right? Who knows? Nobody really knows. These markets are very crazy and we're in unprecedented times. But yeah, I think that there's some huge upside. When you look at the all-time high of $24 and we're currently at five, we're the lowest you could have bought Afria in years. But it could go lower. So let's just hunt the bottoms, guys. Let's hunt the bottoms. Kevin says... Bro, honest opinion, would you get into Afria? Yes, absolutely. But I haven't bought it yet. So I'm not sure about the cannabis sector right now. We're not getting any real signs of life. So there may be other opportunities that are better opportunities that are presenting themselves. But I haven't bought anything in two weeks. I'm making trades in my trading academy. But I'm not really trading in the markets. I'm only trying to sell. I'm trying to get into cash in everything, just trying to sell my highs and even trying to take small losses and getting out of positions and staying in cash and waiting for an entry when the market goes down because I still believe that the market has a long ways to go down because what is the market going to look like in Q2 when we see huge earnings losses from a lot of companies? Some companies will do better, some companies will be the same, but a large portion of the companies will struggle. I'm anticipating there's going to be companies that are going to struggle, and when we see 50% or 70% of the companies start having earning losses, how is that going to affect the market? And will the market start to sell off before that? These are things that we have to anticipate as a community. Kevin says, looks like they're the only Canadian company that's doing okay. Well, that's not true. I think that uh, 
Delta 9 is doing good. I think that Afri is doing good. I think that Organogram is doing good. I think that Labs is doing well. And I think Valens is doing well. So I think there's five companies in Canada that are doing well. Tony Driver says smashed and Hexo Molson JV Colorado News this morning. Yeah, you know what? I haven't even looked into it, but thank you for sharing. I'll definitely try to look into it. Hexo has just been very, very disappointing for me. Very disappointing for me. Q Cushion Trader says made $40,000 with Afria in 10 days, bought at $390. Wow. Good move, bro. Unbelievable move. Nice job. Raid says, should I buy Afria right now at seven at 372? No, I'm not here to tell you to buy it. That's not what I'm telling you to do. I want you guys to tell me what you're doing. And let's see what the community is doing. I haven't bought it. I'm reading you guys the news. I think it has upside. But it also has some downside. Like Q Christian Trader just said, it was at 390. Right? And he bought it at 390 and sold it probably just recently. In 10 days, made 40 grand. So there are opportunities in this market, but I think you need to be more of like a short term trader, scalp in the market, pull your money out, stay in cash, look for bottoms, buy the bottom. When you see an opportunity, scalp it, take your profit out, build your vault, build your treasury, stay in cash. I also believe you need to be buying the best stocks. If you're trying to buy the bottoms and you want to buy the best stocks, I say start with Visa, MasterCard, American Express. I'm still waiting. I'm in cash. I'm not buying them right now. I'm waiting. Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, Fang Stocks, Royal Bank, TD Bank, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley. This is what I'm looking to buy. But I'm waiting for the crash because I believe it's coming. If not a crash, a very at the very least, a 30% drop like we just had, I think is coming at some point because these companies are going to be reporting terrible financials because remember the whole world right now is at home it doesn't matter where in the world you are most people are at home right now that is going to affect the bottom line of companies all over the world how is that going to affect the bottom line of these businesses specifically in america i think it's going to have a huge effect on them so we'll see you know despite that you see guys like kramer are saying that he would he's saying that starbucks is a buy i, I don't agree I don't agree. How are they a buy when they're going to be reporting 47% losses? How are they a buy? I don't get it. I don't get it. So I'm not listening to anybody. I'm listening to my own gut here. Um, I am listening to people's opinions so I can formulate my own. But when I see Jim Cramer go out and say that Starbucks is a buy, I'm just scratching my head. Personally, I'm scratching my head. How are they a buy? How? Everybody's at home. Nobody's buying Starbucks. You think people are leaving their house to go buy Starbucks? Yeah, some people are, but not like usual. So yeah, I don't think it's a buy. So I mean, I'm not listening to this. You know, some of these experts give their buys. I'm going to make my own buys and we're going to do our own due diligence as a community. That's what I'm excited about. And people that are within our community get to know that this is what I do every single day as I look for opportunities and I share with our team. In the Trading Academy first, they get access to it first. Anyone that's in the Trading Academy gets access to my picks first. Or members on YouTube that are members with Rich TV Live, higher rank members, get access to the picks first. And as I find a pick, I'm going to give it to you guys. And if you guys make more than 10 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month on one pick, you should be happy. Uh, in the last month, I think I've brought four picks that have gone up collectively close to 1,000%. For example, QSC at one point was up 700%. I brought you AGN. They were up to 50 cents on Monday. They were up 200%. I brought you BEX this week. They were up at the highest point the day I brought that video. They were up 81%. And I think BEX is just getting started. I think that's just getting started. The only people that bought that stock is our community. Let's make that clear. Bex hasn't even started, guys. <laughs> it hasn't even started. 
You want to show the power of our community? I talked about a stock and it spiked 81% after my video. And then the very next day, the volume's dead again. Why do you think that stock spiked, guys? Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Why'd that stock spike? Uh, Kiyo Christian Trader says, Afria is extremely good and will go up after the corona. I agree. And I think a lot of companies are going to go up. Kiyo Christian Trader says, wait, going down. I like the way you're thinking, brother. Now you're trading like a sniper, my friend. You're trading like a sniper ninja. And I can't wait to have you in the academy, bro. I need a guy like you, man. I need a guy like you, brother. We, we actually, one of our members, Tuami, who... Yesterday was live and called a trade that I won on and everybody won on that took that trade. We did it live, guys. Take a look at that video with Toonami and your boy last night, late night trading. Your late night vampire was late night with Toonami, the number one trader in our academy right now as far as results trading, who made $30,000 in the last 45 days. We went live yesterday and we gave you one free trade. Now, if you guys want more trades, join his squad and he'll give you trades all day long. Simple. You want to learn to trade? You want to be a part of the academy? Just join the academy and you'll get access to more trades. But we're going to go live once in a while and we'll give you one trade for free. One. You guys want more? Join the academy. Right? Makes sense, right? I think we're being generous just giving away free trades. Danielle Miller says, smashed it. Hey, thank you, Danielle. Danielle, I'm going to make you a moderator. I appreciate you, girl. Thank you so much. I'm going to add you as a moderator. I appreciate you. Raid says, just smash, bro. Thank you, Raid. I appreciate you. Thank you for the smashes. If you guys like to smash, smash the like button. All you got to do is smash it. You hit it. You flick it. Touch it. You poke it. You can rub it. You can hover. You can pet it. Just smash. Or just smash. Be violent and smash. All right? Crush it. Crush it like it's your goals. Crush the like button like you want to crush your goals. Kyo Christian Trader says, I super glued my finger to the smash. My man. My man. Respect, man. Kyo Christian, Kyo Christian Trader is a fighter. And uh, you'd respect uh, Toonami. Uh, he's, uh, he's a fighter too, bro. He's a fighter too. So we got fighters in a squad, bro. Fighters on the squad. It's true, man. We got fighters on the squad. What's my honest opinion on UCO? I think that all oil stocks are going to explode because everyone I know that's in the oil business is at home right now because the oil business can't even operate. So in order for the oil business to go back to operation, the price has to go up by at least 20 bucks. So it's going to have to go up. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Cody Olson says, all cannabis is a hold for me. Other opportunities out there. I agree with you guys. Diversify. Diversify, diversify, diversify. I've been selling all my gold stocks. I'm out of all my gold stocks. I already sold my Valens before. Everyone's like, why'd you sell your Valens? And now Valens is down. I'm like, sell when you see green, guys. Don't get all hyped up to buy news because you ever heard buy the rumor, sell the news? I mean, guys, I'm just ahead of the game, guys. You know? trying to be the best trader I could be. I'm ahead of the game. I'm buying low, selling high. I don't care about news anymore. I don't care about any of that stuff. Just buying low, selling high, not getting caught up in all the hype, not getting caught up in all the, the nonsense, just more focusing on indicators, financials, fundamentals. And uh, diversifying and staying in cash because cash is king and cash gives you opportunities. Cash gives you opportunities. Right? When you're in cash, you have opportunities. Um, Yali Chi says, what happened to Bex? Bex is just getting started. I talked about Bex. It went up 81%. It came back down a little bit. And now it's just dead. Why? Nobody's talking about it. I think I proved my point. Nobody knows about Bex. I'm telling you guys right now, Bex is just getting started. It hasn't even started. 
what you guys saw the first day was just our members reacting to my video and buying the stock. There's nobody buying and selling that stock. Nobody knows who Bex is. Come on, guys. The only person who knows Bex is us. That's what happened to Bex. Bex, if you actually have done your research, you will know that Bex is about to have some big news. So when that news drops, understand that Bex will have an extra $7 million of stock that they can book on their balance sheet. Mm -hmm. Understand that Bex has $1.6 million of cash in the bank and zero debt. So when they get that extra $7 million of stock put on their balance sheet, they're now going to be worth $9 million in cash and zero debt. I say they're undervalued. I haven't bought it yet because I want to buy it lower. But I think that they got a long way to go up. Long way to go up. But I'd like to buy it at $0.08. Cents. I did a video. Everybody went and bought it. So it's not at $0.08 cents right now. If it goes to $0.08, cents, I'll buy it. But I don't want to buy it at 10 And I don't want to buy it at 11 I don't want to buy it for more than everyone in my community. Why would I do that? That doesn't make sense. I should have bought it first and then talked about it. But I didn't because I'm not a sleazeball. But I didn't expect it to just explode just because I talked about it. I guess it goes to show the power of our community. Thoughts on Boar? I know Boar had a good run. I know they had a good run, but I don't chase anything. Uh, Raid Hyatt says, I'm going to gamble, love gambling. I don't think you should think about gambling. You should think about investing. Be an investor, not a gambler. AJ says, I'm deep green in baby. I hold Afria. Hey, man, Baby's been a beast for our community. Congratulations to everyone who has been winning on Baby. Baby has been such a great winner. Buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high, over and over and over again on Baby. Baby has been an absolute beast for our community. A beast. Congratulations to everyone who's been winning on Baby. Been one of my best picks over the last 12, 12 months, to be quite frank. Burgo King says, yo, I'm still stoned. I don't know what week it is. I think a lot of people are in that state. 420 is coming, right? Green Bull says, hey, Rich, your thoughts on Gameco, Global Gold Natural Resources, and Income Trust, New York Stock Exchange, GGN. It has 25% exposure to oil. Well, I think that if it has a lot of exposure to oil right now, it's probably you know going to most likely be down. So it could create a buying opportunity. I believe that oil is too low and the price of oil has to go up for businesses in the oil sector to operate. We need to be at 50 to $60 a barrel. I believe that fundamentally the price of oil has to go up and I believe it will, but it looks as though it's going to take some time. So we may have to be patient and look at oil of more of a long-term trade. The cannabis guy says... Oh, sorry, the cannabis guy. The Canadian guy says, Afria with some sales numbers and tons of cash in the bank, not a bad buy. No, it's definitely a good buy. However, it was just at 390. Will it go lower if the market crashes? Probably. We need to be in cash and we need to hunt all the best stocks at the lowest prices. Tony Driver says, I bought more Hexo today. I think the Molson JV will be good. Bro, Hexo has been really disappointing. So I don't trust them at all. But I own them. And right now, all I can say is they suck. That's the truth right now. Hexo sucks. Hexo, if you're watching, you guys suck. It's the truth. You guys suck. Sorry to be honest, but you guys suck. Um, Tony Driver says, drinks coming soon from Ontario facility. Hey, man. I hope they can stop sucking. Uh, Tony says, Molson, big, strong, rich investor. Yeah. Um, Hexo sucks, bro. So honestly, I would never tell anyone to put their money in Hexo. I own them and they absolutely suck. I only like to talk about companies that can help people win money, not lose money. So far, all they've done is take everybody's money. Jose <clears throat> says, yes, waiting for the bottom to buy in cash. Smart. Jason Garza says, a fool and his money are soon parted. That's for damn sure. Infinite Possibility says, don't listen to other investors. Hmm. 
I have a lot of messages. Um, the Canadian guy says some info for the community. I own TGIF 1933 Industries, and in my TD Web Broker account, it says there is an analyst with a fourteen dollars and twenty cents price target. It's at eight cents now. What am I missing? Uh, he's clearly on crack. He's clearly on crack, or she, whoever made that target, is clearly on crack. Maybe 14 cents. <laughs> uh, Bill Prisco says, in Rich, we trust, not Kramer. Hey, listen, man. Kramer's like one of my idols. I got nothing negative to say about Kramer. He might be right. I mean, he knows more than I do on the inside. Straight up, he does. He's, he's a huge billion-dollar fund manager. He's got more inside knowledge than I do. Maybe he knows something we don't know. But he's saying that uh, they're a buy. Starbucks. Um, I just don't see it. But who knows? He might be right. We'll see. Jason Garza says, first three quarters of 2020 are going to be so bad. Yeah, well, I mean, the first quarter, not so bad. But uh, the second and third quarter, and even the fourth quarter, I anticipate to be horrific. Uh, the Canadian guy says, this happened recently. It's not an old target. Yeah, they're on crack, bro. Uh, KU Christian Trader says, Rich gives, gives you hints. Follow them. He will never tell you to buy or sell. Read between the lines and smash that button, please. We take, but we have to learn to give as well. Thank you, Q, Christian Trader. Respect, bro. So happy that you're winning, man. When you tell me you're making 40 grand on a trade, bro, that makes me happy, brother. You know, feed your family, support your beautiful, growing family. That's all that matters to me, guys. Honestly, all that matters to me is that you guys win. I don't care if you guys join me in the Trading Academy or not. You can. You don't have to. I'll still keep giving free picks. I enjoy it, but people that are within me in the academy are going to get more access. They're going to get more picks, um, and they're going to grow. And they're going to they're going to get ahead and they're going to make money. Believe me. So love to work with you guys and love to trade with you guys. No one has to do anything they don't want to do. But you know we're going to grow and the channel is going to become a lot more sophisticated. You're going to see us showing more indicators. You're going to see us talking forex. If you're not in forex, you're not really going to be able to understand. Um, but I'm still going to always talk about stocks. I'm going to talk about cannabis stocks. I'm going to talk about penny stocks. We're going to be talking about everything, but we are evolving here. And as we evolve and grow and get into a new new tax bracket, um, things are going to continue to change. So, you know, love to work with you guys and love to evolve with you guys because I think that that's what life is about. It's about evolution. The day you stop evolving is the day you start dying. Jesse says, everyone is stuck at home. A lot of people are having cannabis at the time when they get bored. I agree. It's true. But the market's dead. So you're getting companies like Valens reporting strong numbers. You're getting companies like Afri reporting strong numbers, and they're not doing well. Jason Garza says, pump and dump. Giova 2020 says, guys, Rich is amazing. Hey, respect, brother. Thank you, man. Uh, Bashir says, Molson Coors and Hexo have already built a great partnership in Canada that we believe will produce some of the best adult non-alcohol beverage brands in the Canadian market. Hey, man, I want to see them do something with the stock because I'm invested and so far they've been a disaster. Giova 2020 says, very smart when it comes to trading. Hey, Giova, I'm going to make you a moderator, brother. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for joining the Academy. Thank you for being a part of the Academy, brother. And I'm going to work for you, man. and do everything I can to help you make money, brother. Trading, building, growing, everything. I just want to help you guys grow, man. That's all I want. What do I think about Hexo? I think Hexo has been a nightmare. And I hope they prove me wrong. Infinite Possibility says, cannabis company, I'm looking at pure, currently at one and a half cents. Yeah, I wouldn't be touching that. But I mean, I wish you luck, brother. You love the risky stuff. I'm staying away from the risky and I'd rather go buy Visa. I'd rather buy MasterCard. I'd rather buy American Express. And I want our community buying Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Apple, Netflix, Disney, Google, Amazon. That's how we're going to get rich. Facebook. That's how we're going to get rich. And we're going to get rich. 
Keo Christian Trader says, I'm joining 100% the Academy very soon. Hey, brother. Thank you, man. I can't wait to trade with you, brother. Raid Hyatt says, how much to join or just look it up? Just email me, richtvlive at gmail.com. I'll send you all the details. But I'll tell you right now, it's 235 US to join. Just email me. Obviously, my email is lower caps. Sorry, I, I got caps on. But uh, yeah, just email me and I'll show you what it takes. I mean, 200 bucks and you're in. 200 bucks and you're in the matrix, man. And you can really start learning about the markets. Not only can you win in the academy, but you can build your business in the academy the same way I'm building Rich TV Live. And you can become a much better trader out of the academy. I trade in the academy and I trade outside of the academy on my own. And I'm building everywhere. I'm building everywhere. So all I want is abundance. And all I want is abundance for me in my life and for you in your life. So if you want more abundance, join the squad. I'll help you get more abundance. We'll work together to get you there. It's not going to happen easy. We're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to put in some work. I'm going to have to put in work, but we can get it done. Derek Sanderson says, Rich, I tried buying BNTRF with TD Ameritrade and there's no bid ask and my order doesn't fill. I haven't had problems with other penny stocks. Any idea why TD platform isn't working for that stock? Um, I have no idea, bro. Uh, you know, it's a new company. No one's ever heard of it before. As the company gets bigger, they're going to be able to trade on a higher exchange. And it's a process, right? It's just like a penny stock. It's a new company. No one's ever heard of it before. I brought it to you guys first. And still, nobody's ever heard of it before. So that's not going to just change, right? So it's going to take time. It has to evolve. Um, but I still think it's really early. I think we're really early like we were with Baby, and we made a lot of money on Baby. We were really early on QSC. We were really early on Sona, which also went up over 100%. We were really early, early on AGN, which went up over 200%. So I love to be early in stocks. And I believe with Bex, we're early. We were early on ITKO. We got in on ITKO at $0.08. Cents. That went to $0.21. Cents. And it's come back down a little bit. Guys, the way you trade my picks, as soon as you see profits, take them. You don't hold these stocks, guys. Stay in cash. Hold cash. Don't hold stocks. Hold cash and use some of your cash and resources to make money. And then when you make money, you put it back into your vault and you build your treasury. You build your vault. You build your treasury. You deploy troops to go and win trades. You win those trades. You take that money back and you feed your family. You feed yourself. You pay yourself. You feed your family. And then you go and you deploy more troops and you build your treasury. You build your vault and you should keep building and building and building your treasury and building your vault. And that's how you trade. It's called accumulation and compounding. And we talk about it in the trading academy. Infinite Possibilities says KLY is in play. Nudica says pot stocks are dead to me. The Canadian guy says just energy stop dividends. Sold that one off just before that happened. Raid Hyatt says, when you day trade, bro, that's not investing. No, day trading is day trading. Investing is investing. And when I'm investing is when the market is low. When the market is high and the market is under a coronavirus pandemic, I don't want to be investing. So I'm right now 60% in cash. I'm scalping these markets. And I still have 40% of my portfolio in the market. And I'm looking to sell it all. I'm looking to sell it all. I would like to be 100% in cash when the market crashes so I can take advantage of the dip and buy the bottoms and buy the fear. That's my plan. Uh, Kobe Giles says, people are shorting QSC. Yeah, let them short QSC. Fine. I got no problem with that. I brought QSC at 15 cents. It went to a dollar. My job is done. You know what I mean? Like, what else do you want me to do? 700% returns. Like, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for it to go higher? 700% isn't enough? You would think that 700% is enough. Guys, take your money and run, man. Don't be silly. Take your money and run. 
700%? Yeah, a dollar is where you should have sold. Lisan says, Rich, is it time to get into Namaste? I think Namaste is really low. That's for damn sure. And I like them. But I don't own them. So that's up to you. It's a tough risk. Like I said, I'm not putting a bunch of money into cannabis, guys. Um, if I do, it's going to be one play here, one play there. And it's going to be companies with money in the bank. And Namaste actually has money in the bank. So they could definitely be a play. But I'd rather start with a Valens, a Labs. I own Labs. Um, I've sold off my Valens recently for profit. Um, I'd rather start with an OGI, an Afria, a Valens, Labs. That's where I start with Canadian companies. And uh, a Delta 9. I like those ones right now. Start with them. Infinite Possibility says you have to invest in companies before they explode. Yes, but you also go to invest in good companies. Not just, you know, some company that's at a penny. You got to invest in good companies. This company, Bex, has millions in the bank and no debt. That's a good company. That's the way I look at it. And it's early. Nobody even knows who they are. Mullen says, watching every time I can, like smashed, hope to join Academy when possible. I have lots to learn. Still liking water. Needs to get over a buck to stay on NASDAQ. Yeah, well, one thing you have to remember, Mullen, is they're not going to necessarily just stay over a buck to get on NASDAQ. They're going to stay over a buck because they deserve to stay over a buck. So just remember that. Don't just assume they're going to stay over a buck, right? And guys, when you're buying a stock and you see money and you see profits, take them. Don't be foolish and be up on, a, on an investment, anything. And I talked to everyone in my trading academy about this too. Don't be up on an investment and then let it go red on you. Take your profits. Take the damn profits. Unbelievable. Take the profits. Uh, Green Bull says, thanks, Rich. I agree. Oil is likely to soar for months yet. Well, I mean, the whole oil industry is bankrupt until we go back 20, 30, 40 bucks. So it has to go up or the entire oil industry goes bankrupt. Do you honestly think all the elite in the world are going to allow the oil industry to go bankrupt? I don't see that happening. I think there's pressure right now. Thanks especially to the coronavirus, but it's not going bankrupt. Nudica says, reason oil is down because no one's driving, flying, and can't get rid of cheap oil. Exactly. So that's not going to last forever. Can't trust. Yeah, can't trust. Obviously, they got a glimmer of hope, but they got all kinds of problems. So, you know, can't trust has a lot of issues. They're not filing their financials. They're not reporting anything. They're... Some serious trouble. They've got a lot of lawsuits. It's going to be a long road for Cantrust. It's not going to be easy. Green Bull says, the U.S. recently poured millions into biotech. If I remember correctly, it is smaller companies that benefit. Um, Howard says, can trust book on market. I'm holding 2,890 shares waiting for it to go up. I hope it does for you, bro. Raid Hyatt says, Afria just went down one penny. Time to get in. Giova says, thanks, Rich. I know I'm in a great group and always learning. Bro, we got a training tonight at 7 p.m. It's going to teach you tons. And that's where you ask all your questions. And then we're going to be doing live trading tonight with Antoine, 9.30 Pacific, 12.30 a.m. We go live trading the London session. Howard says, smash it. Thanks, Rich. You're good, bro. Thank you, Howard. I appreciate you, man. And we just want to get better. I want to get better. I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect trader. I make mistakes. I want to get better. I want to improve myself. That's why I joined the academy. So I could get better. And I am getting better. I still have a long ways to go. Long ways to go. Uh, AJ says, got some SU for long-term rich. All your call. I know you hate Xenobis, but I load a bit of it. Oh, bro. Every time someone buys Xenobis, it hurts me, man. I don't even want you guys buying that trash right now. They got a lot to prove. 
Infinite Possibility says, put your money to work. ACB at 99 cents still won't touch them. ACB has a lot to prove, guys. Sonny Robinson says, the end of April earnings reports, heartbreaks in May. Yeah, Sonny. Get in cash, brother. Stay in cash, brother. Sonny, man, I'd love to have you join me in the academy, bro. Come join me, bro. Raid says, I sold NXTTF at a loss today. Oh, that sucks. Infinite Possibility says, KLY has millions in the bank and very low debt. That's positive. Why are they doing so shit? Miguel says, when you invest in those good companies like Disney, Netflix, MasterCard, etc., when's the right time to sell? Whenever you see profit. So what I do is I watch them and I look at the lows and I look at the highs. And what I do, and I teach this to people in our academy, is I buy the lows and I sell the highs. I look at the yearly lows and the yearly highs and I look at the whole market. I scan the whole market and I'm looking for good companies that I want to own. And when they're at the low of their zone, the lowest in a year, that's what I'm buying. And when they're the highest of the year or all time highs, that's what I'm selling. Hey, sometimes I'm going to buy a little too soon. Sometimes I'm going to sell a little too early. But you know what? When you're buying in the lows of a zone and you're selling at highs of the zone, you're always going to win. The other strategy I have is if you get in a stock, as soon as you're up 10%, you should be ready to sell. Be up 10%, be ready to sell. Now, if it starts to come down 9%, just sell. If it starts to go up 11%, 12%, 13%, 14%, 50%, move your take profit up with the price going up. So now let's say the price of Afri is at six bucks, okay? And you got in at four. You're moving your price all the way up to like 590 is your sell target. So if it drops to 590, you're out. It's called a trailing stop loss, right? Or a, a trailing take profit. So you're, you're, you're at 590. If it hits 590, you're out. If it keeps going up, you, you increase it. If it goes up to 620, now increase it to six. 640, increase it to 620. 660, increase it to six, you know, 630. You give yourself a little room for it to bounce down and then shoot up, right? And you ride it up. So you're squeezing all the juice. Never be up on something and then let it go all the way back down. That's just terrible trading. And if you trade with me in my community at the academy, you're going to learn that. And you're going to become 10 times a trader. I'm becoming 10 times a trader. Here, I'll give you guys the link. And then I'm going to have to run because I got to go. I'm really, really busy. I got a lot of new people joining the academy. I got a lot of new people to train and teach. And I got a bunch of uh, meetings and trainings happening tonight. And a lot of new people that will be a part. Got a lot of stuff going on. I'm super, super busy, so I got to run. But um, let me share with you guys the link. Let me share with you guys the link. Okay, so and this is why I've, I've been trying to tell everyone on our team, guys, just build a social media platform. I'll help you build. We'll help you grow. You know, just put in the work. Set up a social media platform. Get a YouTube channel. Get an Instagram channel. Get a Twitter channel. Create a brand just like I did. You know, Rich TV Live created called JTV Live, Tom TV Live, Steve TV Live, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Come over the brand and I will help you build it. You know, the same way. I built a YouTube channel and a uh, Instagram channel and a Twitter channel and, and Facebook and all this stuff. You can too. Anybody can, right? And it's just about putting in the work. And if you're willing to put in the work, you're going to get the return. Anyone that puts in the work in anything in life is going to get the return. You got to put in to get out. What you put in to something in life is what you get out of it. You know, but you got to be willing to put in. If you don't put in, you're not going to get out. Same thing happened to me in the academy. When I first started in the academy, I wasn't doing that great because I wasn't putting in that much. I was more focused on Rich TV Live. The academy was just like something I was doing on the side. So I didn't have great, great results. And then once I started actually putting in more effort into the academy, becoming a better trader and having good results, well, guess what? I started to grow. 
And not only did I start to grow as a trader, but my team started to grow. And now I push into platinum 1000. So I'm making a thousand US a month residual income now. Thousand US a month residual income is not bad considering I've been doing it part time. And my goal is to build it up to 10,000 a month residual. And if I can make 10,000 a month residual and help you guys make a thousand a month residual, 2,000 a month residual, 5,000 a month residual, 10,000 a month residual, then I'm pretty sure that eventually I'll be able to grow to 50,000 a month residual, which is my goal in three years within the academy. And there's many members within the academy at that level. There's many members in the academy at that level. So if they can do it, why can't I do it? Why can't you do it? We can do it. So let's do it. That's my attitude. So love for you guys to join uh, Afria. Tough situation. Uh, would I buy it? I'm not against buying it. I might buy a thousand shares. If I do, I'll let you know. But I'm not rushing to buy it. If somebody's wondering if I'm rushing to buy it, no, because like, is there any reason to rush to buy any cannabis stocks right now? Think about that. Is there really any cannabis stocks that we have to rush to buy? Probably not. Okay, guys. Thank you, Eo Ron. Respect, bro. Thank you for being a part of the Academy, Ron. I want to trade with you, bro. I want to be in the trenches with you, bro. I want to grow with you, bro. So um, you got two guys now, Ron. I showed you that picture on, on WhatsApp. You got two guys on the squad now. So I'm actually putting people on people's teams, guys. So love to work with you guys. Love to build with you. Love to help you create residual income for yourselves and your family and for your future so we can live the laptop lifestyle, making videos, trading, just making money from our laptop. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy, Rich, from to be Live, and I'm out. Peace. But yeah, I like Afria. Would I buy Afria? I'd buy Afria. If I could buy a lower, I'd be really happy. But even at five bucks, you know, five bucks is not a bad buy. So I don't know. I'm going to watch it. And if I buy it, I'll let you know. Okay, guys? Thanks, guys. Peace. And if you guys are part of the academy, we have a training tonight at 7 o'clock. I'd love all of you guys to be there. And it's a real training on how to place trades, how to understand pips, what are pips, what are lot sizes, how to use the MetaTrader for, how to place trades, what to look for, how to use their harmonic scanner, and anyone that's new that has any questions, it's a great training to help you answer all your questions. And then we will be live tonight with Antoine, 9.30 Pacific, 12 a.m. Eastern. We'll be live trading, making money tonight. Stay tuned. Get your popcorn ready. We out. Peace. Howard's like, what's going on with Cantrust? Man, Cantrust has some serious problems. Cantrust has some serious, serious problems. <laughs>